In this video, I'll be showing ketonic decarboxylation. This is a reaction where two equivalents of carboxylic acid react at high temperatures over a catalyst to give a ketone along with carbon dioxide and water. Its name comes from the fact that it is a decarboxylation that produces a ketone. It just so happens that this reaction will also take place with the salts of carboxylic acids. I believe this happens with all salts, but it works best with calcium and barium ones. This reaction used to be used to produce acetone in a reaction that is demonstrated by Nile Red. Today, I will heat calcium propanoate to high temperatures to give three pentanone as well as a little bit of calcium carbonate. I bought my calcium propanoate online as a food preservative. It is used to preserve bread. I weighed out around 18 grams and proceeded to add this to a large 50 milliliter test tube. I did this because I didn't want to damage any of my nice flasks. Next. I wrapped a distillation adapter with a generous amount of PTFE tape in order to make a good seal. I then fit this adapter into the test tube and attached the rest of my apparatus. This consists of a Vigru column, a vacuum takeoff adapter, and a receiving flask. The Vigru column isn't necessary, I just used it as an air condenser. A water-cooled condenser would work even better. When I was ready, I lit my Bunsen burner and began to gently heat the test tube. After a minute or so, I began to see condensation on the glass. With further heating, vapors managed to reach the condenser. Finally, drops started collecting in the receiving flask. Heating was continued until nothing more came over, which took about 20 minutes. After, I turned off my Bunsen burner and let everything cool down to room temperature. You can see that the distillate separated into two layers. I removed the bottom layer with a pipette and dried the remaining liquid. Using this setup, I found the boiling point to be 101 degrees Celsius which is only one degree below the literature boiling point. Dividing the sample's mass by its volume, I found the density to be about 0.78 grams per milliliter. Given these various properties, the product here is mostly 3-pentanone. The yield was quite poor at only 13%. While the yield can be improved somewhat, it will always be on the low side for this type of reaction.